a quick audio check. Okay, everything sounds good. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone's doing well today. I decided to switch up my game scheduling a bit. I want to try get through Stardew Valley Waker, so I'm going to be doing that two days a week instead of just one day. So I also changed the days in which I'm going to be playing certain games, still doing Stardew Valley, then Garden Story, and then finally Odyssey near the end of the week. I decided to change that up, one, because like I just want to get through Stardew Valley and start like my next run, because I'm working on um prop for the next like speed speed run i want to do so yeah so that's the main reason why i decided to change it up but yeah it'll be on the schedule tab of um my twitch page so yeah okay so last week we ended off starting the first day of fall so today or day one is gonna be hectic you know it's fine it's fine we're ready for it yeah sorry sunflowers are kind of mid they make good gifts but otherwise kind of mid And my main concern is just getting everything tilled in time. I, I don't know. I wonder if there is, like, a type of machine to where it'll till stuff faster.
I really should have started trees sooner. Because I really wish I had the beehives by now. I mean, it's fine. It's honestly fine. Like, it's not too big a deal. I can wait till year two. But I can spend all of winter. Ah, uh, but trees don't really grow during winter, do they? I think I'm gonna try and put any reproducing crops up top here and then any crops that are just one-offs near the bottom areas. The other thing I do not like about like the start of the season is how long it takes to like just till the fields. It's honestly like the most annoying part. Like half the time I don't get it all done in a day. I've been playing Animal Crossing again. Oh my god. <laughs> so you press B to run and I keep accidentally pressing B. That's my fault. <clears throat> I kind of want to play like Animal Crossing on the stream, but I don't know yet. Like I know I said that I delete my file. Once I hit affiliate, which is kind of dope. Um, But I kind of want to like make it look pretty. I'm gonna buy 35 of each, and then 25 of the reproducing. Oh, my money's gone. Oh my god. Yeah, I have like no money. Rip? Okay. Yeah, it's only about five graves. I honestly hate the graves. Graves kind of mid. Because you can also pick them up when you're foraging. Oh, they cost 200? Frick. Okay, let's just play more Amaranth. We love her. Let's see, we didn't get sunflowers or wheat. Wheat is not really concerned now because we don't have a farm or barns yet. I thought I had enough money. It sucks. I think it's also because I usually don't buy this many of each type of seed year one. It's also because I don't have, like, a big enough field set up by now, usually. Ah, 
It's gonna be off. It's gonna be off. Oh, I would have been a perfect line. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Here's my one amaranth up here. Are we even going to have? Oh yeah, we're for sure going to have enough bases. Okay. I'm so, so used to running. Yeah, I think it'd be best if I put flowers along here. That way I don't touch them as much. Because, like, the issue I have with flowers is, like, I'll, I usually will plant them around the perimeter. Like, just plant a whole bunch of them and then I'll put a whole bunch of hives. Because I know, like, some flowers, the honeys yield different, like, selling rates. But I also just like the look of having, like, full fields. Like, I saw one tutorial where they had, like, like 20 hives around one flower. But it's like, that was kind of ugly, low-key. Okay, we're gonna have to spend the next few days either mining or fishing. Okay, everything's planted for now. So at least we have like the primary crops that we'll need and want. I keep running, I keep running! <laughs> I'm gonna clear these out and plant more, or get more trees started. So we need see what we need for hives. We can maybe get preserve started. I kind of want to get those started that way because they're jamming. We need maple syrup. Oh, I don't have kegs yet. Okay. So we just need can get maple trees started then. And then get some of these started. Because I know for the kegs we need oak resin, I think. I'm 
going to work on clearing these out a little bit. Yeah, so we're going to have to focus on getting more money for seeds and then upgrading the pickaxe. So maybe we can spend tomorrow fishing and then the next couple days mining. It's nice how there's like a lot of forest here though, like a lot of space for stuff to grow. We're good for now. I think we're gonna do fishing one in each area for the next three days. That way, we try and get at least all the seasonal fish done before I forget. I know I will forget. And then by that point, we should have enough money to upgrade the pickaxe. Yeah, I'm not going to need the hoe for a couple days. Or the scythe, really. I think we're good to go. Okay. Day one done. Ah, that was kind of suck. Nothing good. I want the kegs. I got $16. My bank account right now. <laughs> Everything looks good. Get to fishing. I'd like to try and get barns by now, but I don't think we're going to be able to. there. You showed up at the perfect time. It's our new special orders board. Robin and I built it from scratch. Uh, Lewis, all you did was hold the nails. Ignore her. <laughs> now, let me explain. You see, with Tibble and Farm back in business, the local economy has really been picking up. As a result, some of the local townsfolk have been asking me for a way to source local ingredients for their businesses or personal projects. So Robin and I came up with the idea of a new special orders board, where people can post bigger jobs than what than would make sense for the old billboard outside Pierre's. Now for example, I plan on requesting some hardwood for a bed I want to make. I won't put you on the spot, but if you want to help me out, you can just accept the job from this board. Who knows, maybe if the bed turns out well, I'll start selling them in my shop. I look forward to helping. <laughs> Why would you go with the negative response? I don't understand. I thought so. I wouldn't expect anything less from you. So, can we say that you're on board? Haha, <laughs> funny meme. Well, I'm sure you're busy, so we won't keep you away from your work any longer. As always, I appreciate your willingness to contribute. Take care.
No, she's still laughing at her own joke. <laughs> Me too, though. If there is the hardwood mission, we're not gonna have enough time for this week because I don't have any hardwood on my farm, so I'm not gonna have any spawn in time by Sunday. Yeah, no shot. Okay, I was gonna fish anyway, so we can for sure do the albacore one. <laughs> Come on, line up, line up. There we go. Albacore are sea fish. I think. I'm trying to think of like Animal Crossing where it spawns. <laughs> oh, we need to buy more bait. We have no money though. Oh, it sucks. Hate being poor. Perfecto. Oh, cool. Okay, so I think the mission said we needed six, right? Oh, ten. That's doable, though. We can for sure do that. Nice, another perfecto. And another albacore. Nice. Luck is on our side today. For once. I was like, why is this fish taking so long? It's because I don't have any bait. I was like, why is it taking so long to spawn? I can go buy three more pieces of bait because I got 16 bucks, baby. Because I don't know what fish I have back at home. I don't really want to sell these yet. Okay, I've sold tilapia before then. Um, I can actually see what I've sold here. Okay, so I've sold sardine. The... Right there. I can go ahead and sell that sardine now that way you can get a bit more bait. Yo, sod it! It's been a bit. That's right, you know, he came back. <laughs> Hope you're doing well too, man. Decided to change up my gaming schedule because, like, I low key want to get through Stardew Valley. So that's why we're not doing Odyssey today. Cause like I was at a point where like I was getting super mad with Odyssey, but like it's kind of fun again. Cause like I like just exploring, but sometimes like the, the challenges are too hard and I get mad. <laughs> but yeah, cause like I kind of want to try. Cause I'm working on my next prop, so like I kind of want to like push through Stardew Valley. Cause the the goal is to beat Com Center in two years. So you probably have about like maybe. 10, 14 hours left till year two, or till year two is done. Like, I kind of want to get through it. Hey, you gotta take breaks. The game is are getting on your nerves for real. That's why I'm only gonna do it two days a week now because, like, <laughs> I want to get the run done, but also, like, ah. 
Because, like, the completionist run is 80 moons, and then the rest is, like, 119 purchase moons. And just to get the 119 purchase moon, that's, like, another, like, six hours or something of just coin grinding. So that's going to be agonizing, so not looking forward to that. But, like, any moons that you don't get of the base ones, you have to get purchase ones, so then that's just more coin grinding. So, I'd rather just put that off to the end of the week, and, like, <laughs> start off the week with, like, a nice chill game. But, yeah. That's gonna be the plan for a bit. So now we got four bucks. Let's go. I'd like you to play a new game, though, Yana. I'm like Apex for fucking forever. <laughs> I'm, I'm still playing it, just not on the stream. A new map came out. Okay, gotcha. You gotta learn the new map. Okay, that's valid. Valid excuse. Perfecto. <laughs> I really want to get the new Mario Party, but none of my friends, legit, none of my friends want to buy the game. And it's just like, fuck all y'all. Like, I'm trying to convince my sister to go have these on it. Like, any other game I want to get. But she's like, it looks boring. And I'm like, yeah, but like the best part is like getting mad at your friends. Like that's the fun part of Mario Party. It's actually not though, even though even if there was no map, I'd still play it for real. Like I know you would addict. You're hooked. It's like a manga split with a game board. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit more like the RNG like, just hates you in Mario Party. But a manga. You mean like betraying everyone? <laughs> I think that's like, not to be mean, but it's gonna be mean. It's like, that's a really shitty analogy. <laughs> I need to stop doing this. I always like pull my like collars up whenever we're like hooded stuff. Yeah, that aspect your friends getting torn apart. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Like, I don't get too mad at games from the like their skill because I know I can get better like the more I practice. But like RNG stuff or like random stuff, I get mad at because. I don't like how it's not in my control. Like, if it's like a dice roll, I get really pissed at that. Because it's like, there's nothing I could do to make it better. But then there's also the argument like, yeah, there's nothing you can do better, so why are you getting mad? And then I, I just get mad in response. I think the first time I played Mario Party, that my friend said she had a GameCube. And it was fun. I don't remember which Mario Party it was. But it was still a good game. I remember like, so when I was little, I didn't get to go to my other friends' houses as much. So, like, anytime I did get to go over, like, I don't want to play games because, like, I didn't have any console at home. So, perfect. Um, I remember I went to my friend's house. This is when I was, like, 12 or 13, like, middle school. And, like, I went to her house, and it was me and her other friend who were spending the night. And she and her friend, like, were playing Minecraft. <laughs> and <laughs> I was just in her room, just on the DS playing Cooking Mama. <laughs> The good times, man. Perfect, there are lots of perfects today. 
Am I just good at this game? I was gonna make a comment, but it's just leading into jokes. <laughs> uh, I'll say, I'll say it. I was like, I like the fishing mechanic because then I can just play with one hand. <laughs> oh my god. I have jokes. I don't want to set myself up for them though. Because, like, I know, like, I'm a pervert too, so like I'd be making those jokes in response too. Like I hung out with one of my friends a couple weeks ago, like two weeks ago. <laughs> we went to the it was a uh, cutie Lee or Katie. Check her check her out. She's actually like really funny. She never streams though, and it pisses me off. Anyway. We went to the dollar store because we were like looking at like prop stuff. And <laughs> Like, I was making so many fucking perverted jokes. Like, cause we just like, look at each other like, whisper jokes to each other. Cause everything at the dollar store is like cringe. Right? Oh my god. It's cause- it, The reason why I'm like this is cause like, I only hung out with guys in high school. So, like, their humor became my humor. Okay. I think it's interesting, like, the gender demographics for streamers. Like, it's primarily, like, male audiences. Like, I, I kind of want to... I'm looking forward to see, like, what my demographic would be. So I think right now, like, consistently chatters... Um, I have more male peep chatters than female. I think. I think, Yana, you're the only, like, female chatter I have. <laughs> and then I got like four or five other like male chatters that pop in occasionally. Oh, why did they throw that way? When I fill out like surveys or like when I used to apply to jobs, I would put, um, when they ask you, like, your race or your gender, I would put do not specify. I only recently started doing that because I'm not sure what, like, the hiring team looks at when they look at applications. And in my head, um, they already see my name on the application. And... It's hard because I've done interviews, like, I've conducted interviews before, and with those interviews, like, I was given a list. Or, not a list, but, like, oh, call all these people, right? And, like, I don't care who I hire, like, honestly don't care about that. But I don't know what other biases that employers have. Because, like, I have been discriminated against, like, I was told after the fact that I wasn't hired because they wanted, like, one more male employee on staff when they already had two females. So I was like, oh, that feels bad. Feels bad, man, you know? Um, but like, in my head, if I don't disclose that information when I don't necessarily have to, like, in my head, I think... I don't know if that'd be, like, a disadvantage or an advantage. Because I would just, like, one less thing that I could potentially be discriminated against. I understand, like, the necessity for, like, sen not censored. Census, that's the word. That way they can see, like, population demographics. That, to me, makes sense. But for instances when there's, like, competition, I don't think there's a need for me to disclose that. Prior to meeting the individual, I guess. Then they can actually, like, talk to me, like, know who I am.
because I know companies get like grants or not bonuses, but like money incentives if they hire X amount of people from this type of group. Which like kind of ties into the Patriot Act, which I think, which I believe was the act in which you're required to like hire this amount of this type of population or like enroll this amount of this type of demographic related to race which i think is fair again that that's getting to like a whole other topic of like trying to combat people's inherent biases which i think is fine to do but if that's going to be, like, the only determining reason why you're getting hired or, like, getting enrolled in a school, that's me. That, like, prioritizes your identity than your merit. Which is not fair. I mean, not saying that people are hired just for that reason. But I know in my head if I was hired just because, like, I'm Asian American, I'd be like, oh. Okay. My sister and I ordered like hella Japanese snacks for Christmas. And they came in the mail about a week and a half ago. So we got like Kit Kats, Pocky, and then some like random miscellaneous snacks. Um, so like, I usually will get like the fruit flavors or like the creamy flavors because like there's not a lot of like just flavored Kit Kats in general here. Like the one that I saw recently that was kind of good was um. In the supermarket here, they had, like, Key Lane flavor Kit Kat, which is pretty bomb. Like, it was actually really good. Because the wafer was, like, vanilla flavored, and then the outside was actually... It tasted a lot like Key Lane pie filling, so it was actually really good. But otherwise, there's not a lot of, like, obscure Kit Kat flavors. <clears throat> but, like, we got, like, white chocolate. There was pudding flavor. There was ice cream flavored. There was... Um, I think my favorite that I got, there was raspberry and then mango Kit Kat, and those were amazing. Like, I'm kind of biased on food flavors, but still, they were, like, really good. What kind of sucks, though, is because the site where I got them from, um, those flavors are seasonal. So, like, they only serve them during the season, right? Um... So, like, some of them tasted a bit stale. Because <laughs> one of them said it expired in May. Because it was launched, like, Christmas last year. So that's why <laughs> it expired. But, like, it was still kind of good. Okay, I think I've got all the fish in there. Oh, frick, I didn't check if I had a super cucumber. Okay, I did. Thank goodness. Saved. Okay, so tomorrow probably more fishing because we don't really need more sprinklers because we have no sprinklers for the season at least. We can fo focus on that once we <coughs> have got enough money to even upgrade the pickaxe. So probably one more day of fishing, then we can upgrade the pickaxe, focus on fishing till pickaxe is done, and then focus on mining the rest of the season. Good fishing day. So let's do river fishing today since it's raining. I don't think I have enough coal to make any bars right now. Or I got 29. Yeah, we can hold off on that. For now. Until we get more gold ores. 
Did I say or? I said ors or ers. <laughs> I never played Among Us. Mainly because, like, I'm not good at RP. Like, I've been playing a bit more of Animal Crossing. And, like, I have ideas for, like, some, like, bits for, like, mini RP things I could do. You see, I'm the idea guy. I'm not the executioner. Like, I'm the mastermind. I kind of want to get the Animal Crossing DLC, but like I watched a little bit of gameplay of it last night, and like a lot of it's just decorating, which is cool. Like it's fun, but like I'm not that good at like. Oh, legendary fish! Oh, come on, come on! Fuck! That was like a fucking easy one. I'm mad. I'm not mad. Oh my god, that that sucks. That, that one never spawns. It's okay. It's fine. It'll come up again. Um, but anyway. Like, the Animal Crossing DLC is just decorating. I mean, you can get, like, exclusive furniture, which is, like, kind of cool. But... If I'm gonna delete my island, hopefully soon, then... I don't want to buy the DLC... If I'm gonna have to like delete everything. Catfish. But, like some of the new furniture from the DLC is cute. <laughs> There's this really cute plant and a cute table. Like I want it. But I don't need it. I remember like some people are so mad about the DLC. They're like Nintendo wants money, but like, eh. if it wasn't part of like the initial like game premise upon launch, then to that to me makes sense as a DLC because like it's basically like a whole new game mechanic. And like all the updates up to this point have been free, so like. I don't know how many copies are sold, but like if you paid sixty dollars for like a base game, like taking consideration like how many like hours of production. I mean, they obviously made profit, but I don't know. I'm indifferent. I'm indifferent. I mean, I would buy the DLC, but if I like the decorating mechanic, but like I honestly don't. Like I, I won't buy it now at least. Animal Crossing to me got bored when I realized it's just being paying debts to some bozo. I kind of feel that. I like, like, the initial grind of, like, building up, like, a base or a fort. Because I really like repetitive mechanics. So, like, when I first, like, got my island, I didn't time skip because time skip is cheating. Not that I look down on people who time skip. It's just not for me, you know? Um, like, I remember, like, the first week I played, like, I just fished, like, out. <laughs> I played, like, all day when I got it. Like I played, like I fished all day for like the first. Oh, what's another legendary? Fuck! It's fine. I had two chances. Loved them both. It's fine. <sighs> um, I honestly like the grind, but like when I, when I like I paid off my debt. Like it took me like maybe like two months of gameplay to like unlock terraforming and stuff. Oh, it's another legendary! Fuck! <gasps> we got it! We've got a legendary fish! Oh my god, okay, we got it. Oh, that's so nice. That's, that's nice. I I'm not mad anymore. I'm like, actually like... Got on the third try, baby. But like once I paid off like my debt, I just got bored. So it's like I have no like hustle. Like I have no reason to play anymore. 
And then I just became like doing the daily tasks, which is fine. And then decorating, which is kind of mid. I forgot. <laughs> I was too focused on the treasure there. Like, I'm low-key excited to deleting my island. That way I can like experience it all again with like a full game with all the updates done. Like, I don't know if I said it to you before, Yana, but, like, once I hit affiliate, then I'm gonna delete my Animal Crossing Island on stream. Like, maybe do, like, a garage sale thing and, like, try and, like, like, give away my furniture or bells and stuff. Because I have, like, 20 mil in my nook bank. You know? Raining in it. And then, like, I wanted to do another shtick. Like, if I ever hit partner, oh, I'll never. Like, I would delete. <laughs> I would delete the save that I replaced the one that I deleted when I became affiliate. I gotta find a better way to wear that, but I think that'd be funny to do. Because I assume it would take, like, at least a year to, like, gain a large enough following to go from affiliate to partner. I didn't have to move at all. Nice. Love that. little yard sale would be cool better than just a lady yeah like i think what i kind of want to plan to do with it is like one stream do a tour like show how shittily i de i decorated everything and then like the next day like i don't know how like online works i think you share your island code i'll have to look that up later because like i don't want to friend too many people on my nintendo account like i don't want randos on my friends account well, like, I think either, and then the next day, like, just terraform the whole place, make it all flat, and then either place the furniture, or, like, bury it in, like, pit holes, so that way people can just dig up random potholes, and then get whatever randomly. I think that would be fun. I was really close to like just deleting my save file a couple months ago. Like I opened the game randomly by accident. And then I was like, oh, let's just delete it and start again. But then I was like, I kind of don't want to. Because like when I stopped playing, like my island was totally like unfinished. But like I kind of want to like make it look presentable. Because like if I'm going to show everybody, I want it to like look pretty. <laughs> don't want it to look like crap. It, w it wouldn't be in a, a yard sale, it would be more of an estate sale. <laughs> like, it's funny, because, like, when you not play- when you don't play for a while, and you talk to your village, she's like, Hey, I haven't seen you for X amount of months. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, I've just been a hermit. Or, like, I was in a coma, you know.
I'm so excited. So I've been working on um, my clay stuff in the background. And I found like this really nice um, artist and she made me some custom cutters. And they look like a lot higher quality than the ones I got previously. So those are hopefully coming in the mail this week. So I'm excited to like try out some new techniques. Because right now I've just been practicing like how well my stencils work, which the specific like stencil designs work best in terms of like transferring and then actually cutting them. And then I kind of don't want to like play around with my clay too much until I have like actual because like you can make like slabs, like pattern slabs and like let them sit. But, like the longer you let them sit, then like the they dry out and you can like re-soften them. But if it's a pattern slab, then re-softening is not a good idea. But I'm so excited. Because ideally I want to make jewelry. It's funny because like primarily I want to make earrings. I think because earrings are like definitely one of the more like accessories you can get like really artsy and like creative with. But like I don't have piercings. <laughs> I mean if I wear them... Um, I would get like the magnetic kind. Um, like I have a few friends who like earrings and stuff, so I'll give them to them. I've always liked the idea of having like my own like tangible product, something I can call my own. That's always something that I've wanted. I also would like to learn how to sew like, properly. That way I can learn how to like tailor and hem stuff. That way like I can fit my clothes how I want them to fit. I also want to like dabble in some music stuff like production wise. There, there's so much I want to do like. But because there's like so much I want to learn. Like I just get overwhelmed thinking about it. Like, it seems like every year I have a new interest or, like, endeavor that I want to do. Because, like, I think I'm, like, alright at whatever I do. Like, I'm not, like, amazing at anything, but I think I'm, like, alright. Gotta start somewhere, yay. Yeah. I, like, last year, <laughs> I wanted to try and, like, pick up keyboard. Like, a little bit of piano. Like, I think I could do it now. It's just my only... Like, I really wish I learned an instrument when I, was like, when I was younger. Like, I wanted to do, like, orchestra in, like, junior high. But, like, you had to pay, to, like, rent the instrument. We didn't have money at the time. But, like, I really wish I got into it because... It takes a lot of time to, like, master any type of instrument. But also, like, I don't have any money to invest in right now. In, like, anything. <laughs> I have... Like, not a lot of money right now. It's bad, it's bad. I mean, I would have like a couple thousand, but I loaned it to my parents. So like, they basically have an IOU for me. But like, now I have like a thousand bucks in my bank account and that feels really bad. So, I'm like, I cannot be buying anything extra right now. <clears throat> I'm really glad we don't have, like, little kids in the family, because then I don't have to, like, buy shit for them for Christmas. And that's cool.
I think it'll be interesting to see what the job market will be like in like 20, 30 years in terms of like automation. Like I honestly was thinking the more creative career paths would be like the main like job field. But then also there's AI that can make some really realistic like renderings. So then it's like, what's the, I mean, the ideal career in terms of like, what's going to be needed is like people who will maintain the machines that are in factories and stuff. People that will maintain like automated cars and stuff. So like, I mean, there's robots that can make pizzas. <laughs> so like, what career isn't going to be like taken over by automation or like AI? Because I know me, as like, if I were a factory owner, like, I'd gladly pay 10 grand for a machine. That way I don't have to play one employee. Like, let's be honest. Ah, oh, frick. I lost it. That's why I, like, honestly decided to pursue a creative career for college. Because I initially did computer animation, but then it's like, that's, that one sucked. It was boring. Like, really, really mm -hmm. tedious work. Mm -hmm. So then I decided to change it to graphic design. Because that, to me, seems, like, more applicable to, like, any business. Like, everyone is going to need, like, a marketing team. Everyone's going to need, like, a graphics team. I mean, there's always going to be, like, a need for, like, healthcare workers, a need for, like, educators. I honestly think there should be, like, more free education or free higher education. Because I bet, because right now there's shortages in certain labor fields. Like, I bet if people had the opportunity when they were younger to, give in, to be given free education, <clears throat> then ultimately you're just increasing your workforce. I, I was talking to my dad about this the other day. But, like, how can there be volunteer firefighters? Like, how is that a thing? Like, why are they not paid? Like, how is that not in your city budget? The budget for firemen. Like, I, I, I physically cannot comprehend that. Because... The only time you really hear... Like, I would assume, because, like, the reason, like, but when you have a job, right, you have, like, insurance or, like, your health care, like, associated with your your job, right? Like, if you get hurt on the job, then you're, like, protected. But if you're not on payroll, like, if you're volunteer, I'm not sure what the specifics are, but, like, I assume there are, like, limited benefits if you're a volunteer. Like, like, if you die, you're like, oh, uh-oh, <laughs> too bad. Like, would you not be, like, protected or covered? Would you not get compensation for that? But then my dad was like... I mean, he's for them getting paid, mind you. But he's like, you know, if, if, if the city's small enough and they can't afford it, it's like, how is that not in the budget? Like, I don't I, I don't understand it. People need to get paid for that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, When we were talking about this as well... I was like, you know, there's there was, like, trial programs where they had, like, inmate programs who were, like, volunteer firefighters. Or, no, they were paid in some instances. I'm like, that's cool. You know, because, like, it's a job. It's a job. So why were inmates being paid to do, like, the same jobs that, like, volunteer firefighters are doing? Like, I don't understand it. My little brain does not get it. I can understand, but like, if it's training, then it should be pre training like any other job. Like, what person genuinely, like, volunteers their life just because they want to? Like, I don't get that.
It honestly seems like a loophole in like legislation. Like, oh, they don't need to be paid. They're just volunteers. I mean, most instances, they're like our paid staff. But then it's kind of like the analogy he used to me is like, well, if you have five people on staff every day that are paid, and then the rest are volunteers, like you guarantee to have five people, but some days you may have six, some days you may have ten. It's kind of like that. I was like, okay. But like, still, if they're doing the same job, like, why are they not? Being paid. I don't know. I I think I don't know if we have a volunteer department because like our city has like twenty thousand people, so like it's a significant amount. Um. So like, there's enough to justify having X amount of people on staff, right? Two shads, catfish. Got my legendary fish. Look at that. I give shit energy though. Well, I gets more than that. I just have to remember to not sell that. I gotta keep that forever. Gotta hoard it. I don't got any tiger trots. Okay. So I think we got the rainfish for rivers. That's cool. Okay, so on to the next day. Gonna be doing more fishing. Probably pond fishing if it's still raining. See how much money we got. Oh, 6k, nice. Um, I'm we'll probably buy more seeds. And then maybe get the pickaxe upgraded. Yeah, we're about an hour into today's stream. So a gentle reminder, get a snack, get some water if you need it. I made some deviled eggs earlier for breakfast and they're pretty dope. Like, I ate fucking- <laughs> I ate too many! Cause like, I don't make deviled eggs often cause like, they take a bit. Like, cause I boiled them and then I like, I did other shit and went back to it. And it took me like 30 minutes to like, unshell them all and like, make the filling. Well, like, I think I ate, like, seven of them. So that's the equivalent of three and a half boiled eggs. It's like, I could just, like, keep popping them in. And I was gonna go to the store and, like, buy some bacon bits. Like, on my morning bike ride. Because, like, it's about a mile and a half away from the trailhead. But then I was like, because, like, it's way too cold now. Because, like, I'll head out and I'll forget my gloves every fucking day. Like, I'll step outside, but like, oh, forgot my gloves. I could go back, like, take five steps back inside, grab them. But it's like, nah, I don't need them. And then I get home, my hands are just red. Because, like, the only gloves I have are fingerless ones. Because they're, like, athletic gloves, so they have, like, little rubber, like, grips on them. Like, I want to get some, like, actual winter gloves. But it's hard to find a pair that fits me because, like, I have big old hands. So I usually have to get like men's sizes, but like the men's sizes, like the fingers are usually too long. So it's like, ah, <laughs> I just, I just can't win. understand like any organization that focuses on volunteer work like volunteering is good it's cool you know do it if you got time but like why should those services not be in the budget 
like that to me is just a tell that like the city is not investing enough funds in those programs which to me is unfortunate Because in, like, high school, part of, like, the requirements to graduate was to volunteer 20 hours somewhere. And, like, they didn't allow any pet shelters because, you know, liability. Don't want kids to get bit and shit. Like, I volunteered with a church daycare. Mind you, I don't go to church, so, like, it wasn't religious related. It was just held at a church because they couldn't find anywhere else to hold the daycare. Um. That was cool. Similar situation, they had like X amount of staff every day and then like a random amount of volunteers that would come in. I, like, volunteering is fine, like, I kind of understand why it's free labor, but, like, unpaid internships, that to me is, like, the biggest bullshit ever. Like, you're doing it for the experience? No. That, that to me, like, unpaid internships are so exploitative. Like, I don't understand how they're legal. Like, I remember, like, Jake Paul. I don't watch Jake Paul, but, like, there was, like, a headline where he was, like, offering... Or was Logan Paul? One of the two, one of the two. But, like, they were offering, like, you get paid and shout-outs for this internship. And it's, it was so fucking funny. Yeah, it's a whole scam. Yeah, for real. Because, like, it's a similar situation. Like, you're offering unpaid, like, labor for when someone is doing the same thing as a regular on-staff person. Like, I don't get it. Or like where they offer like a paid internship, just say it's a position. Like I don't I don't understand the difference. Like an apprenticeship, that's paid. Like that that makes sense. Like you're still like a novice learning. Like it's kinda like paid training, like in between paid training and then like in between like paid profession. Like that makes sense to me. But like unpaid internships, no shot. Like, I was talking to my dad this morning, because, like, I'm in the process of, like, figuring out, like, how to launch an online shop for, like, jewelry and stuff, and he was like, you know, you can give them to your friends, and he's like, you can give them to them for free, and they can promote it for free, and I was like, no! No! Like, that feels bad, like, like, one of my, um, streamer friends, I want to give her a pair, right, and she's like... 1.5k followers on Twitter. Her name's Rainy Day Game. She's really cute and sweet. Check her out. And then she averages like 15, 20 viewers on Twitch. So like, a standard rate for like a promotional post, like I looked it up, is like $100 for just a base post if they have 5k or less followers on any platform. Which to me makes sense. Because you show it to your 5k followers. Let's say like you have an average of like a hundred impressions on your post, right? Of that a hundred, like maybe twenty people buy something. So then, if my average ticket is thirty dollars, then I just made um twenty times thirty six hundred. Like, why should I not compensate them when their influence started me excess profits? You know what I mean? He was like, oh, follower count doesn't matter if you're giving it to the free. You're giving it to them for free. I was like, no. It's like, that That just feels scummy. Like, that feels bad. Yeah, I feel it, yeah. Like, I was like, I don't care. Like, if it's someone, like, if it's a friend, I'll give you two bucks. Like, just make, like, a Facebook post and IG post. Like, I'll give you a code. Because in my head, I'd rather, like, treat people right from the start. And, like, gain that repertoire that, like, I take care of people. And there's like compensating them accordingly. 
<clears throat> because mm -hmm. if companies that give away free shit, it costs them nothing in terms of like the return. Like if the people who are getting like twenty five dollars for the product, and then that like one post garners them like five k in sales, like that's a drop in the bucket in your budget. That's why like influencers can charge like bank for like a promotional post. Because their like management team knows how much like revenue that will garner for that company that paid them. And like that's basically part of your advertising budget, right? Like paying like someone to promote your product. That's that's advertising. Like why should that not be in your budget? I'm gonna go buy some seeds. The oh, I forgot to get my oh, I don't have any gold bars. I totally forgot about that, so I can't upgrade my stupid pickaxe anyway. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so I think tomorrow we'll do mining then, because I honestly need those gold bars. I totally forgot that I have none. Huh. <laughs> Let's buy 10 of each of these. E that way we at least have them. Then a few wheat. We don't need too many because we don't have the barn yet. My hello pumpkins. Okay, we give. We I think that's more than enough than what the plots that I have. When I was talking to my dad about, like, paying for people to promote any product, I was like, you know, yeah, some people may be nice and kind-hearted, but, like, some people aren't. Like, they're gonna look back on that and be like, oh, so-and-so didn't compensate me accordingly. You know, you don't want to build, like, a negative repertoire with people. I don't have my hoe. Go get my hoe. It's so weird because like y'all shouldn't hear it, but in my because I'm emitting my game sound to my laptop now, but there's like a half a second delay, and sometimes it's it usually doesn't bug me, but like it's so off putting sometimes. I mean y'all should be getting like the right time, like I was able to like line the the sound up properly for like stream. Like I my time, my time is so off. Let's see, what do we want? Probably get some sunflowers started. Because we're going to need that for the comm center. Yeah. Put here yet. Let's see what we need for tappers because I kind of want to get a few more of those set up. Okay, just wooden copper bars. I 
think I'm gonna put more trees here. Okay, so I think I'm going to plant more trees here. I don't have nearly enough money to get any buildings started. Get some trees over here too. Cause I honestly just want wood at this point. I think I'm going to put ponds in this section because there's a lot of land here. Then I'll put barns up top. I don't know where I want to put my orchard. Oh, there's a pond over here. I forgot about that. Hmm. I would fish more on, like, the property, but you should just get trash. And that sucks. Okay, so I said we're gonna do... Mining tomorrow.
that's a significant amount of energy. That is 45 too. Okay, so we, we got enough food for tomorrow. Okay, so if we're just mining tomorrow, that's all we really need. The... Yeah. I should donate some of this stuff, because honestly... Money right now. We'll have to stop at the museum, probably next week. Okay, so we can sell these gems for now because I still have enough. I like to keep three in my inventory and then some I gotta donate. That's why it's some at four. So we should get more money. <clears throat> that way hopefully we can get enough gold ores tomorrow. That way we can get enough bars to upgrade either Saturday or Sunday. Ooh, up 10k! We're gonna be making bank. Once we get the preserve jars made. <laughs> get the crows. Okay, let's go. Oh, we got one tree grown. Nice. get a better sword. I don't know if the lava katana is unlocked yet. I don't remember to check that before we leave today. I think the katana is 20k or 25k. God, we almost died there. Okay, 
You're saved. Oh, we got a ring. Okay, finally. We got 30 gold ores, we only need 20 more. No, we actually have enough. I forgot it's five per bar, so we have enough.
We're getting out. We're getting out. Okay, saved. I just wanted to make sure I got enough gold ores for the night. Thought this had iron dick. Haha! <laughs> And we can't even get the lava katana yet. Sucks. It's 30 to 45 damage. Yes, day. Oh, same thing. I don't want to buy that yet. We'll just save for a lava katana. Okay, so I think tomorrow we're going to go to the museum, donate some stuff, and then the rest of the day do ocean fishing. That way we can get the albacore mission out of the way, because it ends on Sunday. Then upgrade our pickaxe. Here we okay, no problem. Better come back. Okay, so if we're going to go to the museum and then fish, we're going to need our rod. And everything we want to donate. You're ready to go for tomorrow. Okay, so let's go get more seeds, because I didn't realize there'd be this many. Thank you. 
Okay, so we gotta buy more seeds today, too. I should have planted the trees a bit more nicer. But you know, it's fine. It's I. I'm just waiting for those good bars to be done. I forgot to grab my axe, I can't go through. Badge. Whatever, hopefully the bars are done by now. Oh, they're still not done. Come on. You back, Cuckoo. You came back. I appreciate you, man. Let's hope those freaking bars are done by now. Been smelting for what, six hours? No, oh, thank goodness they're done.
Well, let's hope he's at the frickin' store. Because sometimes the welder isn't there on Saturdays. Oh my god, that'd be horrible. Oh, they are here, thank goodness. Okay, got some spring and summer seeds. Oh, we got the Dorvish Guide. Nice. Okay, cool. That's good. So now we can understand the stuff in the comm center. Perfecto. Mm -hmm. 
Come on, I need me some albacores. Finally, an albacore. Just five more, I think? Another one. Oh my god, that one is uh, too much. I knew it was gonna be a super cucumber too. Like, honestly, should have quit. But you know, it's fine, we got it. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, time to go home. Okay. Go ahead and make some more iron bars. That way we can make more tappers and have those ready to go for when the trees are grown. Okay, so tomorrow I think we're going to focus on finishing the albacore mission and then going to the forest area and getting more wood. So I think I'll do it one more day. So about 20 more minutes and then call it a day here. Or end it here. <laughs> Tortillas. I was thinking about- I, I want to make some enchiladas, like that sounds so fucking good. Enchiladas on fire, yeah. I like the kind with like the green sauce or the white sauce. Pretty good. We haven't made them a lot because like my mom can only have so much like green. So she's a uh, diabetic and shit. But I was talking to her, I was like, can we please make them tomorrow? And she's like, maybe. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> because last night we made some chicken noodle soup. Pretty good. Like when I move out, I like I need an Instapot. Like you can make like anything in there. I need more wood. I didn't grab the wood hut. Why so didn't show up?
We gotta move one thing in here. I'm not gonna use the sprinklers. Like, at all. Okay. We need three more albacores. We're gonna buy a hella bait. There we go. Okay, we, we should be good for a bit. Another perfecto. Come on, we need the albacores. Our last day, man.
Why are you hustling? Uh, it's our first week of fall. <laughs> so like, because Friday we left off on the last day of summer, so today we started on the first day of fall. And like, I don't know if you've played yet, Bash. Hello. How you doing today? Um, but like, the first day of the season is when you gotta like, till your feeds. Till your fields, like, put down fertilizer, plant all your shit. And it's so hard to get it done all in one day. Like, it's definitely like the most hectic day of the game. And then the rest of the month is chill. But I think like the first day of the season is definitely a favorite. Because like time management is so much more important. Still haven't gotten any freaking albacores yet. What's up with the RNG today, man? Of course the day that I need them. I don't get shit. But I'm glad you can chat, Bash. I got your message and I adjusted the settings just for you, so... You know. I'm honestly really glad that, um... Twitch, like, released the new authentication settings. I know they were getting a lot of shit when, like, all the hate raids were going on. Like, oh, the Twitch is doing nothing, but, like, no shot. Like, of course they're developing, like, software to help prevent it. And honestly, like, I haven't heard a lot of people getting, like, raided recently. Mm -hmm. So I assume, like, the settings are helping. Like, I know I haven't gotten anything, which is cool. Yeah. I was game, but you don't play it? Play it, man! Like, have you played it before? Like, have you beaten the main story? Mm -hmm. Or is it just, like, on the back burner? Like, I know I got a couple, like, because I downloaded a few other, like, RPGs to play on my own time that I haven't touched yet. Mainly because I'm only playing Animal Crossing again right now. But, you know. We'll get to him. I feel special. Yeah, for sure. He's special. I treat everyone nicely here. I got time for everybody, man. So I was talking to uh, Katie or Kitty about it, too. Because, like, she was saying... Because I was helping her adjust some of the settings for it. And she was saying, like, a couple of her family members don't have phones. And I was like, okay. So it makes sense to, like, adjust the specific phone setting. Because to make a Twitch account, you have to have you have to have um, different emails, but you can have multiple accounts with the same phone number. So, like, the best security you can have is just making sure everyone has a verified email. Like, that's, like, the best thing you can do. Because I think it'd be a lot more difficult for, like, bot people who do buy bots to, like, make infinite emails, you know? I mean, there are folks who make, like, new emails every month to, like, renew their Netflix subscription, but, you know, I don't think everybody has that dedication. I still haven't gotten any albacores, and it's already 4 o'clock. What is this? I mean, the weekly missions aren't too important. I mean, you do get, like, certain cutscenes, and you do increase, like, your friendship level with, like, the individual who wanted the mission. I'm not sure if... Like, there is, like, a major cutscene you get when you complete all the weekly missions. Like, I assume there's something like that. But I haven't looked into that yet. It's one of those games I wanted to try, but I tried it and thought to myself, this game is so much more fun watching than playing. Really? Interesting. I'm, I'm the opposite. Because, like, I'm, like, pretty chill for the most part. Like, I don't get too hyped. I don't scream. <laughs> I'm not a screamer. But, like... So, like, I will watch stuff that is more, like, engaging or, like, faster paced. So I think it's interesting that you like watching more than 
playing like the slower games. So that's interesting. I can't wait. Because the developer announced a couple weeks ago that they're making like a second game. I mean, granted, it's going to be a long time before it comes out. Like, probably a few years. But still, like, oh, it's so high. It's another pixel RPG. So then, what type of games do you like to play, Bash? You got an Apexer in chat. All Yana fucking plays is Apex. Like, no shade, but you know. You are a screamer, no shot. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> no, I said I'm not a screamer. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I've only, like, I'm not an angry person. The only time I legit got angry. Like, and, like, yelled. Was me and my sister. Like, she's in the next room. And, like, I woke up one morning. Like, 5 or 6 a.m. And there was, like, the smell of burning. So I was like, oh, shit, what is it? So, like, I looked in our living room. Because we have, like, a wood stove. But it wasn't that. And then, like, I look in her room. And she had... Like, you know those lights that have, like, the plastic cone around it? Like, the aesthetic lights you get from Ikea? So she had one of those, and she put, like, a blanket on the light, and, like, the blanket weighed down the cone to where the cone was touching the bulb, so, like, it burnt through the plastic and part of the blanket. So, like, I started yelling, like, oh, what the fuck were you doing, you know? And I, like, yanked her curtain rod, to, like, open the window, right? And I, <laughs> low-key kind of strong, like, I yanked the curtain rod off the wall picture. <laughs> and then at that point I calmed down I was like oh I should not be getting any angrier than this um. but yeah I don't yell I don't get mad but what fucking dumbass does that she put the blanket on the light because the light was pr too bright fucking dumbass like, she could have burned the whole house down anyway I play FPS shooters and zombie games okay okay I would play, like, FPS, but, like, sometimes games that are in, like, POV or, like, first person, it messes me up. Like, I don't- it trips me up sometimes. Like, it feels disorienting sometimes. And, like, when I play a game, like, mentally, I need that kind of disconnect. That's why, like, if there's, like, a first um, POV version or, like, third person, I will always choose third person POV. I think this is an albacore. No! <sighs> Come on. We haven't gotten any albacores. Finally! Oh, fucking finally! Now just two more. Two more than we're golden. <gasps> one more! One more! I hate the missions where you, like, you have to gather the item and then deliver it. I don't think this is a... One of those missions. I think you just gotta catch the fish. Oh, we got it. Thank goodness. Okay, we can get out of here. Eleven hundred. Nice. I kind of wanted to get some wood from the side forest. I'm on the grind for a weapon skin and cod. Nice. Let's go. Are there, like, <laughs> any shooter games for the Switch? 
I don't think there are, but that'd be so funny. Because, like, I have a Switch, is which is what I'm playing on right now, and then I have... May my sister share our PlayStation. Oh, frick, I forgot about energy. You can play Apex on Switch? No shot. <laughs> I, I I assume the online is shit, because, like, just online play in general on the Switch is, like, really bad. I know that no OLED has, like, the... You can plug the... Um... The Ethernet port into the uh, console, which is kind of cool. Like, I wanted to get the new Mario Party, but people were having issues with, like, lag with the new version. And it's like, that sucks. Yo, I think you said you play Apex on your PlayStation, right, Yana? It's on PC? I thought you was on PlayStation. Oh, you play- okay, I'm- you played, um, Last of Us on your PlayStation, that was it. Yeah. You haven't streamed for a couple days, so I forgot, you know. That's why I forgot. It's not that I don't care. <laughs> it's just, you had to re refresh my memory, you know. Got enough of everything, so I think tomorrow will be probably more fishing until we get- The pickaxe might be ready tomorrow. Or actually, it'll be next stream, so yeah, actually tomorrow IRL. Ha! Huh. Okay. Did I get that already? Oh, no. Tortillas, yeah, I said I wanted enchiladas. Okay, that was it. Nice! Up 6k. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh, pickaxe is ready, so tomorrow we can pick that up. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day here. So thank you to anyone who came in. We had Yana show up, we had Bashful, Bashwi, Bashful <laughs> show up. I appreciate you both for coming in and chatting. Love my chatters. Um so yeah, as I said earlier, I rearranged my game schedule a bit. So tomorrow gonna be doing another day of Stardew, then Wednesday Garden Story, and then Thursday, Friday, it's gonna be Odyssey. Um oh yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all yeah, have a good one. No. <laughs> well, you have a good day, man. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Don't end too bad.